Trey Gowdy, former congressman and chairman of the House Oversight Committee, now a partner at Nelson Mullins and a Fox News contributor. Uh, good to have you with us tonight, sir. Um, what, what's yes, your reaction? You. What do you think he was getting at with that, that no one objected? Uh, that Devin and Paul knew about it and had no problem with it. That's exactly what he's getting at. And the reason he's doing it this way is Devin and Paul are, are not allowed to discuss anything that is said in a Gang of Eight meeting. And McCabe knows that. So he can level the accusation and Paul and Devin cannot refute him. Uh, what I think is fascinating is there were three investigations into a duly elected president. The Peter struck one from July of 2016, and then McCabe started a counterintelligence, and if he's telling the truth, started a criminal probe into the president of the United States. I listened to Devin and Paul quiz the DOJ and the FBI for hours on multiple occasions about the one counterintelligence investigation we all knew about it. I find it stunning that they would know about a second one and not say a single solitary word. And, and I will continue to not believe they knew about it unless one or the other um, contradicts it. So you're saying that, that, that Paul Ryan, Devin Nunes, that the whole gang of eight was not aware that there were two investigations. So the first investigation that everybody understood was whether or not there was Russian interference in the election, correct? Well, if you look at the FBI document, which was drafted by and approved by Peter Strzok, it was a counterintelligence investigation into the Trump campaign. Now, the FBI doesn't like it when I say that, but unfortunately, I've seen the documents. I know exactly what Strzok wrote. They want you to believe that it was into what Russia was doing, and that's fine. That's appropriate. Unfortunately, Strzok used the phrase Trump campaign. So that was the one from July of 2016, and now McCabe says there was one in May of 2017 in addition to the criminal investigation Understood. into obstruction of justice. Understood. I mean, and everyone knows that the FISA warrants were happening during the time of the original investigation, which goes right to the heart of what you're saying about the Trump campaign in and of itself. But what triggered the second part of this for Andrew McCabe is quite clear. He was very upset that James Comey was fired. And when he was pressed on this by Savannah Guthrie uh, on the Today Show this morning, he said, you know, she said, what, what evidence, what reasoning did you have? And he says, because he clearly wanted us to stop investigating. He, he talked about Michael Flynn. He asked for, you know, perhaps you could see your way past this investigation. And he felt that there was a direct line, perhaps, through, from that to him having some, him being an agent of Russia, essentially. If, if, if thinking that Jim Comey is not a good FBI director is tantamount to being an agent of Russia, then just list all the people that are agents of Russia. Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, Rod Rosenstein, who wrote the memo getting rid of Comey, Michael Horowitz, who's the inspector general. I mean, look, I know McCabe liked Jim Comey. I, I, I know that. But lots of people think that, uh, thought that Jim Comey had lost the ability to lead that department. And the fact that President Trump uh, got rid of him in May of 2017 is not sufficient basis to launch a criminal obstruction of justice probe. Look at what happened, Martha. He gets rid of Comey, replaces him with a Comey acolyte who not only continues the probe, but expands it. So if his goal was to obstruct a Russia investigation, gosh, he did a terrible job of it. Well, your, your friend Adam Schiff um, clearly believes that there are this evidence that, that Andrew McCabe speaks of definitely existed. And, and just to remind everyone, Andrew McCabe said that he believed that the president was a national security concern and that it was such a, a, a potent moment for everyone because they were so terrified about this. Um, here's Adam Schiff talking about what he sees as the continued evidence at this point on Sunday. Let's watch. You can see evidence in plain sight uh, on the issue of collusion, pretty compelling evidence. Now, uh, there's a difference between seeing evidence of collusion and being able to prove a criminal conspiracy beyond a reasonable doubt. Your thoughts? Uh, well, coll uh, collusion um, is a synonym for conspiracy. So I hope the questioner followed up and said, OK, Chairman Schiff, you have just said you have evidence of a criminal conspiracy between the president of the United States 
and, and, and the Russian state. What is that evidence? What, what is the crime? Was Trump involved in the hacking of the DNC server? Was he involved in the hacking of John Podesta's email? Are you alleging that he participated in deciding when to disseminate the proceeds of those two hacks? I have never, I have heard Adam on a number of occasions say that he is the third eye, third eye raven, has evidence and seen things nobody else has ever seen before. But I've never heard him ask, uh, what is it? What is the evidence of crime that you have, uh, Chairman Schiff? I've never heard him follow. I've never heard it followed well, up on. Uh, he also uh, weighed in on the Jesse Smollett story um, with this tweet on January 20th. He also made some assumptions about the outcome of this case. Uh, perhaps he said, "I met him at the Pride Parade in Los Angeles. I've seen his passion and moral clarity of his activism firsthand. This week he was the victim of a horrific attack. We pray for your speedy recovery, and we reject this act of hatred and bigotry." Uh, says says Adam Schiff with regard to that. Quick thought. A uh, horrific attack is the words I went to. It is another a long list of instances where Adam Schiff would rather get the attention than get the facts. And I've said before, he, he was a good lawyer. Unfortunately, he's a much better politician. Lawyers get the facts and then they make conclusions. Politicians just want the attention. And he got it. And I wonder if anybody's going to ask him, how did you get this so wrong? Trey Gowdy, thank you, sir. Good to see you as always.